Hi everyone, in this video we present a visual inertial mapping with nonlinear factor recovery. This work was done by Vladislav Osenko, Nikolaus Demel, David Schubert, Jörg Stuckler and Daniel Kramers. Camera-based navigation and mapping is important for many applications, starting from the drones that can be used for inspection, surveillance and delivery to household robots that can help us with our daily tasks. It can also be used for autonomous cars and technologies like AR and VR, which require spatial understanding and localization. Combining camera images with IMU measurements is a popular approach to improve incremental motion tracking, which is called Visual Inertial Odometry, or short VIO. IMU measurements complement the images in many ways. They make roll and pitch angles observable from the gravity direction and unlike vision, they have few outliers and make optimization problem well defined. IMU predictions can also be used for better initialization and increased robustness and accuracy of the system, even when the visual data is not available. The approaches for visual inertial odometry have been a research topic for many years, but getting globally consistent gravity aligned maps is still an open research challenge. The main issue is that for global mapping, vision and IMU have contradicting requirements to achieve good accuracy. For vision, large baseline is required for better point triangulations, so many approaches rely on a sparse set of keyframes that have large time intervals between each other. This allows to reduce the size of the optimization problem but increases time intervals between frames. For IMU, small time intervals between frames are preferable as the position information degrades quickly with time. We propose a new approach that combines IMU and short-term visual information into nonlinear factors extracted from the VIO, which is the first layer of our system. These factors are then used to make a globally consistent gravity aligned map in the VI mapping, which is the second layer of our system. Compared to the raw pre-integrated IMU factors that are used in many state-of-the-art methods, our approach results in smaller optimization problem and increased accuracy. On the top right you can see the trajectory produced by our VIO and on the bottom uh, the trajectory from our, our VI mapper. Let's get started with the first layer which is the visual inertial odometry. We first use a sparse optical flow to track short-term visual features. We track patches from frame to frame, assuming a C2 transformation between them. We use an inverse compositional approach for warping patches and locally scaled sum of squared differences to make the fast feature tracker that uh, is invariant to changes in the exposure time. To remove outliers, we track all patches to the target frame and then backwards to see if they return to the same location. Additionally, we use epipolar checks for stereo pairs. The tracks from optical flow are then used to formulate the reprojection error, where 3D points are stored in the coordinate frame associated to one of the keyframes and parameterized with a unit direction vector and inverse distance. For the minimal parameterization of the unit vector we use a stereographic projection. To combine short-term vision information with the MU measurements we follow the approach that was proposed by Lupton et al. We combine several consecutive measurements together into pre-integrated pseudo-measurement and include it into the optimization. This way we can reduce the size of the optimization problem. To keep the computation budget fixed, we remove old frames and uh, keyframes from the optimization problem by employing partial marginalization. This technique is also known as fixed leg smoother. This, uh, all these techniques combined allow us to build a state-of-the-art visual inertial odometry system that outperforms many open source competitors, as will be shown in the evaluation section. Let's continue to the visual inertial mapping. It is possible to use the same approach with pre-integrated IMU measurements for the global mapping as well, but it results in suboptimal solution. The measurement variance of the MU factors grows with the integration time, which is in milliseconds for odometry, but in the mapping setting it can reach several seconds between the keyframes. Another issue is that without the knowledge about velocity and biases it is hard to predict the next pose from the MU measurements, 
and since the mapping setting uh, in the mapping setting these variables are under constraint they can simply be used by the optimization algorithm to accommodate errors If you look closer at the factor graph that we optimize in every step of the VIO, we can see that there is a marginalization factor that connects all current keyframes shown in blue in the sliding window. Essentially, this factor represents a probability distribution over the poses of the keyframes that is stored in the dense linearized form in an information matrix H and information matrix vector B. This probability distribution is relevant for the global mapping but we cannot simply insert it into the global optimization because the poses are linearized around their absolute values. Instead, we can try to find a set of substructured nonlinear factors that approximate this distribution well around the current estimates. We have selected a set of factors that represent absolute position, yaw, roll and pitch angles and pairwise relative poses. Um, we extract those factors before we marginalize out a keyframe from the VIO and select relative poses such that the parts captured by the approximate distribution will be removed after marginalization. To quantify how well our approximate distribution represents the original one, we use KL divergence. In general, minimizing KL divergence between two distributions requires iterative methods and can be rather slow. But in our particular case, the closed form solution exists. We follow an approach called uh, nonlinear factor recovery that guarantees that the reconstructed distribution has a minimal possible KL divergence from the original one. This approach is presented in the paper by Mazuran et al., uh, which describes a closed form solution for the case when stacked Jacobian matrix of the new measurements has a full rank. After recovering the distribution parameters, we drop absolute position and yaw factors and reuse uh, relative poses and roll pitch factors in the global mapping. For computing the global map, we initialize the keyframes with the poses from the VAO. We detect and match the key points to find loop closures and combine them with recovered factors in the joint optimization problem. This way, we capture the information from the IMU and short term vision. This results in a globally consistent gravity-aligned map that can be further used for the tasks like visual localization or 3D reconstruction. Quantitative results show that our VIO system outperforms many state-of-the-art approaches including direct VIO methods in terms of absolute trajectory error. VI Mapper, the second layer of our system, optimizes the map that consists of only keyframes and further increases the accuracy. We also show that the proposed approach outperforms the pure vision-only bundle adjustment, post-graph optimization and methods that rely on pre-integrated IMU measurements for the global mapping. Our implementation is well parallelizable and runs faster than real-time on the modern multi-core CPUs. In our experiments, average processing speed was around 8 milliseconds for the VIO and 50 milliseconds for all stages of the mapping per frame. To summarize, we proposed a two-layer mapping system. Our approach subsumes high frame rate, visual inertial information in nonlinear factors extracted from the marginalization prior of the VIO layer and uses them in the mapping layer to compute globally consistent gravity-aligned maps. This results in smaller optimization problem and in better pose estimates. We release the visual inertial odometry code, mapping code and calibration code of our system uh, open source at the link provided below. Thank you for your attention.